Hello everyone. This is going to be day two of Sully and Wasabi getting fly spray. I wanted to jump back on and show you guys what it looks like on the second day of doing this. It's actually been three days since I first started yesterday. Got a little busy and I ran out of time to work with these guys. So they got a break, but that was okay because the day before yesterday they got uh, wormed. You guys, I showed you guys me worming them. So that's kind of nice for their bodies to digest all that before I kind of get back to working with them anyways. You can kind of see they're stomping at the flies a little bit. Uh, overall, the flies are dying off, so it's not as bad, but we're going to keep practicing putting fly spray on these guys. And let me show you what I think the wormer already helped with. Okay, so if you guys remember how many bot flies this guy had on him, I mean, I'd use the razor to get a lot of those off, but what uh, what worming them will do also will just kill those bot fly eggs and take them off. I feel like they've gone down a lot. So that's something I noticed from them getting wormed. Hopefully, you know, we'll just, they're, they're getting good bellies on them and he's been shedding. I don't know if that was necessarily good or bad, but he's shedding. He's um, sleeping on the bar. Are you resting? Oh, there you go. Yeah. And uh, Sully never really had a ton of bot fly eggs. Hey, bud, let me show your legs. But those are all gone too, any of them that were on there. So that's nice to see that the wormer took care of that already. And I'm not sure if necessarily they needed to be wormed for worms, but maybe they needed to just at least be wormed to take care of the bot flies. But let's go ahead and do fly spray again. So yesterday you guys saw me start off with untying them to do fly spray. Wasabi did so good. I think I'm just going to start with having him tied because he didn't really care. And then I guess my other reason, I might have changed my methods a little bit midway through video, but um, that's okay. I'm still learning, kind of practicing with these young guys. So I'm just happy to take you guys through my learning process. But I'm going to go ahead and leave Sully tied up too. Um, and they're, I mean, they're looped around. If I need to get them undone, I can. They're not going to come tight. But I just want to kind of have that barrier too, because not that I think they're trying to come at me or anything, but when Sully was getting scared and kind of kicking at the feeling and the spray and that you know the water hitting his legs that just gives me a barrier so that he can't you know hurt me on accident or anything like that and that's just what I would be recommending to other people too so I just want to follow my own methods if I'm telling you guys to do it I want to follow the same thing okay so we're starting off with my water jug I shake it around Let's go, go. kind of Spray right here, spray around. I like to use water, that way you're not wasting your expensive fly spray. Start on his legs. Good boy. Good job. The back legs were a little touchy for him yesterday, but he's pretty good with this. Do this side a little bit. Do some airspace first. Good boy. Good job, Wasabi. Hey, he's good on that. Now it's for your turn. You are very cute and you're very friendly. But you are a little feisty. Let's just do some airspace first, kind of let him see what's going on. Smell it. Okay, we're gonna start off with his legs. Good job. Oh my gosh! Look at how much better you've got. Remember how you were acting the other day? Maybe you realize that this is good stuff. Good job. 
Good job. His back legs. Okay, so he, I think I don't think I need to do any more water. I'm gonna get real fly spray on them now. Okay, wow, that's awesome. Look how fast little Sully already got used to having that spray touch him. And that is why I will always say when you ask me when I, you should start working with your little colts, yesterday was too late. Because look at how fast he already learned. He had a day break yesterday, came back. I swear I didn't do anything off camera. First time spraying him today, and he's already like, all right, we went through this yesterday. I threw my fit. I'm over it. Okay, got the real fly spray now. Piranha is my favorite. It does the best job. And I put it on the same kind of spray nozzle as the water one, so it'll kind of replicate that. And they're doing good. I'm going to actually put myself on the same bar as them. Go through some of the same steps. Let him smell it. Kind of rub the bottle on him. Good boy. Let's spray him. This one, this nozzle feature, the one I setting I have it on, is nice because you can stand farther back. Just in case they want to hurt you on accident. Good boy. There we go. Let's do Sully. Let him smell it. Grab it on his neck. Oh boy. Good job. Look how fast they get over it. Maybe he kind of realized it was helping him. Gonna put a little bit on his face because I see him on his eyes. So I just I just do it really soft, kind of right here. And I'll do a little bit right here. Just don't like spray it, you know? You could like put it almost touch him there so you don't spray any inside their eyes. Let's do right here, right here. There you go. Good boy. He did so much better. Let's get his eyes. Are you sleeping on the bar? Good boy. Gonna go under. Oh, maybe this is kind of his oh no spot. I'll try not to scare him though. Right here. Whoa. Okay, come yeah. There you go. Good job. You're okay. Good job. Ugh, there's still a little fly. Go away, fly. I'm gonna spray you. Why he's asking for it. Good boy. So because Wasabi got scared when I was sticking my hand back here with the bottle, I'm just gonna do that a couple more times till I see him really relax. Which he already is not sitting back on the rope. His eyes are a little relaxed. You could see how he kind of got a little wide-eyed a little. Do that a couple more times just to make sure that's okay. Good job. One more time. Okay, there we go. I see no more flies. Mission accomplished. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed my fly spray method techniques. I hope you guys are enjoying all the stuff that I'm doing with Mr. 
Sully and Wasabi, they are coming along so well and turning into such little gentlemen. I will definitely be making a progress video, video for you guys soon. And that's going to show me doing more round pin stuff. I've been yielding hind quarters, four quarters, teaching them to back up and even working with their feet. So I'm definitely going to have a progress video for you soon. I've just been setting my phone up when I can and capturing those moments. I want to show you guys all the progress I've made, especially before I go to Wickenburg for the winter. We are headed down there. It's getting that time of year and there's some more horses for us to go help down there. So stay tuned for future videos when we go down to the southern part of Arizona. If you guys would do a huge favor, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. It goes a long way in supporting me to keep creating content for everyone. I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you so much for following along our journey.